Hi everybody, I finally got this green guitar in, and uh, it's not a custom made guitar or anything like that. In fact, I was scrolling on Reverb, and I was looking for a Stratocaster, which I don't have. And Big, Big Mouth is ready to play, so let's zoom in on him real quick. There he is. Say hi, Tico. Anyway, right, so I'll start talking, he'll start talking. But anyway, back to the guitar. It's uh, a sub $400 guitar. I found it on Reverb. I ordered it and it took a month and a half to get it here. It came from China. Um, it is, it's pretty darn good for the money. I've been playing it the last couple of days and got it tuned up. It sounds really good. It's got a little bit of a, a shielding issue. I think I have to isolate and um, shield the uh, inside of the uh, electronics in here because it definitely makes a little bit of noise. But um, we will overdo that. We'll overdub that. But anyway, it's a neck through guitar, which is really cool. Looks like it's basswood on the ends and maple all the way up to the headstock. And this whatever wood is in the middle, I have no idea. But it's a flame maple top painted yellow and green. And it looks just like his head, actually. So um, it's cool. We're going to use it. Um, the only thing it's missing that I would love to have is a tremolo. Uh, I use the tremolo a lot, but... We will improvise. It sounds great, and we're gonna do a couple songs here for you. You ready, Tico? Oh, I want to show you something. So come over here, Gina. So Quilter was super kind to send me this beautiful little custom shop amp. They actually called me up and said, "We want to make this for you, and um, to your specifications." So it uses a modular head. You might come back here and videotape that. This is a modular head. I picked the lower wattage one. It's called the 101. It's got reverb. Um, all the tonal controls, but you can replace that head and put another head in there if you want more power or a different tone option. I also have, uh, I ordered a cream back with it, which just gives it such a great sound. So what I'm doing here is I've got this Yamaha, which I've been using because it's a lower volume uh, modeling amplifier, and I'm using it as a pre-amplifier going into the quilter, using the quilter's back end and the front end of the amp. So a little creative cabling and I got this thing to work the way I wanted it. Ready to go? Oh. Uh -huh. 